Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. All right, today we're gonna look at the Bry Belly playing cards uh, made by, I have no idea. Uh, they just say that they're made in China. Usually that is a warning that they might not be that great. But I was deceived, I was pleasantly deceived because they say right on here that they are high quality playing cards. And so uh, when they say that, you kind of hope that, oh, maybe they are high quality playing cards. Some brand of cards I've never heard of before. Meh, meh, warning, uh, no, they're just junky cards from China. Okay, so if you don't know who Bry Belly is, they are out in Indianapolis and they're really, uh, well, I don't know why you would know who they were. Uh, they're a drop ship provider. Uh, they're a wholesale company and they work in and out of a lot of different industry special areas. Brybelly specializes though in drop ship service, which is a direct consumer business model that requires you to carry no inventory. So you can have a store, not have any inventory at all. Brybelly will ship uh, the merchandise directly to your customers. And so. I guess they have this deck of cards as a way to sell cards to retailers. The front of the tech case is really pretty. It says, uh, for players with passion. Passion, maybe not passion for playing cards, but some other passion. Uh, Bry Belly and Standard Index right there on the front. It does say that they have a linen finish, which they do. They have a linen finish across the front. And they have, and it does say that they are casino grade, which would make you think that they are strong and sturdy. Uh, this side says that they're poker size, and then they tell you exactly how big a poker size card is. That's nice. And this side says that they are standard index, meaning that they're not jumbo index. On the bottom, there is some ad copy about Bry Belly. And then the back design shows you both what the front and back of the cards will look like. The tongue flap here has a little bit of ornamentation, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards are printed in China, so I have no idea who made them. Um, but they do have a little bit of snap. They do have a linen finish. So if you look really closely at them, there is a weave finish on there, okay? So they will glide. They will act um, like an air cushion finish trademarked from United States Playing Card Company. The back design is really busy. It has uh, your flowered uh, corners, very similar to <coughs> another deck of cards. And then you have some frames and some floral and scroll work there. Not a lot of color, you know, back design's just black and white. Uh, but it, I mean, it could have been an attractive back design if they had given you a more quality uh, paper stock. Okay, so when a tuck box says high quality playing cards, you almost expect high quality playing cards, unless you see that they're also made in China. Uh, these cards handle better uh, than a typical deck of cards made in China. Uh, they do have some snap to them, they do have some spring to them. However, um, you can tell that once you do a, like a shuffle with them and you put a bend in them, they don't uh, bend back. So they have memory. So when you bend them, they stay bent. And so that is just um, evidence of just cheap paper stock, okay? But they do spring well. Uh, you might get some action on these. I tried to uh, weave shuffle them the other day. I don't know, as you can see, they don't, they just butt heads. They don't. See how they, they're not, they're not, yeah, they don't go. They don't, they don't like to do that. Of course you can sit there and you know, shuffle them that way, they'll work fine. They're great for camping probably, great for throwing, probably great for doing uh, torn and restored cards if you wanna just thrash cards, but they're a little too expensive. I wouldn't buy these cards. I can buy bicycles for cheaper, okay? I can buy bicycles for cheaper and be a better uh, stock. So unless you just really have to have that back design, I'd say pass on these. With this deck, you're gonna get two jokers. Uh, it is a jester, almost looks like Ronald McDonald, resting in a crest of a moon. Um, this one is colored, this one's black and white, and it looks like he's playing a mandolin. Uh, for the most part, the pips and indices are standard and you'll recognize the cards with no problem. The court cards are a little different than your standard bicycle deck, and so they do have some, I don't know, spunkiness to them. Um, but I don't know, just as a deck of cards, it kind of just falls flat. All right, so that is my review for the Bry Belly playing cards from Bry Belly Industries. As always, recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and you can always find more content at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.